Hello, everyone. I came here today to talk about simple English that anyone can use. You see, I am a non-native speaker of English. I couldn't speak English. I couldn't write English. But now I can communicate to you what I am doing and why it is important. In fact, I can write about difficult things. My job is to describe technologies. So I write about LEDs, smartphones, or other complicated structures. Simple English, meaning speaking or writing clear and plain English, has changed my communication and changed my entire career. My talk today is for all the non-native speakers of English, including Japanese, and those who are natives may also find my talk interesting by watching how non-natives struggle and how your advanced English or our complicated English can be broken down into simple and clear English. Let me start from my story. Back in 1993, I was at the university in Kyoto. I was bored depressed, and I had no bright future. I studied English, but I couldn't speak English, and la the life was not what I expected. And after the university, I, became, I entered a company producing chemicals, and I did some translation from Japanese to English, but I was still bored and depressed. I had no fun at work. I couldn't write good English, and the life was difficult. And in the year 2000, I changed jobs and became a patent translator. And I started to write about technical stuff. I started to write about inventions on LED lamps, or smart keys for your automobiles, or cupping machines, digital cameras, very technical stuff. And in the process of writing on those technical things, I started to realize that I don't need any advanced or complicated English. What I need is simple and plain easy English to describe difficult things. And I started to read books on what is called technical writing, and I liked their ideas. They say, for example, use the active voice, put statement in positive form, use concrete definite language, omit any needless words, and avoid fancy words. I liked their idea. So for example, instead of the gas does not have any odor, odor meaning smell, I wrote the gas is odorless by using the positive form. It is interesting to note that there are seven steps that must be completed in order to make a successful presentation. I wrote to make a successful presentation, seven steps must be completed. This revision actually follows one of my favorite style manuals. They say, omit empty phrases such as, it is interesting to note that. Interestingly, they think that it is interesting to note that is a um, phrase. That interested me. <laughs> and they say avoid any unnecessary words and they say write economically by using single words. Many of you here may want to use, for example, in order to in your speaking, in your writing, but then they say we should use only two. And I liked 
the idea. And I'll give you another example. Um, this is a piece of writing from my student last week. He wrote, according to recent study, it has been shown that stress, people are stressful these days, stress can be a trigger of Alzheimer's disease. Excellent. Um, advanced and grammatically correct English. But then I rewrote, recent study shows, recent research shows that stress can trigger Alzheimer's disease. In the process of this writing, I started to see a bright light. And I studied hard, worked hard, and within a year, I passed the first level technical writing test in Japan. And luckily, I was awarded by the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports Science, and Technology in Japan. I was lucky. And then things started to change. I became a chief instructor at Japan Society of Technical Communication, JSTC, and I worked as a patent translator on a freelance basis for 10 years, and I published two books, one on the basics of technical writing and the other on patent translation. And last year, I founded a company in Kyoto. Until the year 2000, I was depressed and confused and even felt hopeless. I had never even dreamed of writing books and I had no way of speaking in front of people. Simple English changed me. Simple English motivated me, and I never gave up, and simple English changed my entire life. And I am here hoping that spreading this idea will help people. Now, um, I want to share with you one tip for simple English, very easy one. Anyone can use this tip. So if you have your headsets on for your simultaneous translation, you can try taking them off and try finding the beauty or the power of simple English. So let's begin. Okay, use verbs. Verbs meaning words to ex express action. So smile or eat or run. Verbs are powerful, so use dynamic verbs rather than static ones. So for example, instead of, I am a teacher of English, say, I teach English. And instead of, I belong to a soccer team, say, I play soccer. And instead of, it is difficult for me to speak in front of many people, say, I cannot speak in front of many people. And instead of the number of non-natives here at Tedox Kyoto University or in the entire world is greater than the number of natives. You can also say non-natives outnumber natives by using only three words. So see subject, verb, and an object. And somebody does something. And I also use the active voice whenever possible. For example, the active voice meaning that the subject is the doer of an action. And the passive voice meaning that the subject is the receiver of an action. Now compare the two sentences here. In the year 2011, I was sad. Tohoku was hit by the great earthquake. Or in the year 2011, the great earthquake hit Tohoku. 
Now you can see the active voice is more direct, clearer, and uses fewer words. In this process of revising, black clouds in my head, in my mind, disappeared altogether, and my life gets better. So I thought I should tell this idea to anyone who has less confidence in their English. You know, according to a survey conducted by the British Council, 72% of business people in Japan think they lack confidence in their English. And 90% of my students say they lack confidence in their English. So from the year 2006, I go anywhere to teach uh, this simple English to anyone, including business people, and translators and engineers and students at the universities. I like them. I also teach at Kyoto University as well. I encourage them to write or to present their ideas or their technologies in simple English. And amazingly, they learn very quickly, and their confident smiles after the course moved me. They say simple English changed their communication. And you see, they look super happy. So this is my final message to you. Try using simple English. Talk to people around you, especially you have lunch break after the session. Introduce yourself in simple English. Again, you don't have to say, I am a student at Kyoto University. I belong to a polymer department. Or I work for an engineering, uh, I work for a manufacturing company of diesel engines. I am, by the way, an engineer <laughs> of designing department. It's difficult. So just say, I study polymers, or I develop diesel engines. And also, talk to speakers here at Tedox Kyoto University. You find them around, talk to them. And again, you don't have to say, I was interested in your talk, or I found your idea great. You don't have to say that. You can also say your talk interests me by using subject verb and an object. And you can also say, and I hope you would say to me as well, I like your idea. Thank you very much. Thank you.